Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now we're going to start off by using our simple inches template. So click on the simple inches template to start off. Now to all the Mac users out there, feel free to skip this video and head to the next one where I will be showing you how to use SketchUp in Mac. It's a little different compared to the Windows version. Actually a lot more different, but do not worry. I will be showing you what the main differences are in the Mac version in the next video. So like any other software out there, you're going to find SketchUp super simple to use. We have the main menu bar or the menu toolbar on top here. Then we have the modeling tools, the viewport, the default tray. And then at the bottom we have on the bottom left are hints, which gives us an idea of every tool. And on the bottom right are measurements. So let's look at each of them one at a time. So starting off is the menu toolbar. So as you can see, we have the file toolbar where you can save stuff, open, models and then you can also print save as images export a 2d drawing among many other options i will be showing it to you later on the course then we have the edit option where you can copy paste like any other software Control c Control v a universal function which is now part of almost every other software and then we have view where you get to show different kinds of toolbars so if i go to view toolbars i can switch on all of these and it would show up on the top here. I'm going to leave it off for now. I'm just going to keep it simple. Then we have camera, draw, and tools, which is basically the various functions in SketchUp. I will not be using these drop down menus as much because I will be using shortcuts instead. And I will show you how to use shortcuts to model faster and efficiently. So we will come back to this at a later stage. Finally, we have Windows, and this is a super important drop down menu because it's going to be a little different from the Mac version. Now this Windows drop down menu, you can go to default tray and activate the default tray here. If it doesn't show up, you go to Windows default tray show tray and this is our default tray here. Now this is where you get to add materials, add tags, which is also known as layers. Also we can activate shadows as you can see. And it's also got few more cool options. So we will be going in depth on the default tray later in the main course. For now, it's just to give you an idea of what you would be able to do with the default tray. Now for the Mac users, you'll find that you won't get this default tray like this on the right. You'll generally get it as different windows and I will show it to you soon. Now if you want to add or remove stuff to the default tray, you can go to windows, default tray and add any of these. I generally keep the outline around because I use it for my SketchUp to Unreal Engine workflow. So I'm going to keep that on and the rest of it is default. So make sure you take a screenshot of this and make sure it's the same. If it doesn't show up, you can just go to Windows, Default Tray and make sure all of these are ticked on. Now when you're not using the Default Tray, you can click on the Auto Hide button and it would be hidden at the right here. And if you want to pin it, you can simply click on the Pin button again and it would be pinned to the right. Finally, we have the Extensions drop down menu. Now this menu comes after you install a couple of plugins in SketchUp. As you can see, I have the V-Ray plugin installed, Sketch UV, Slicer among many others. We will be using this again in the main course. Finally, you have help. And like I said before in the previous video, if you want to change your units, default units that is, when you start SketchUp, you can go to help, Windows, welcome to SketchUp, and then change the units here. All right, then we have our modeling tools here, the bottom which has the basic modeling tools from select tool, eraser, line, arc, move, push, among many others. You will jump to that shortly in the coming few videos. Now the bottom left is something important where it gives you a hint of what each tool is capable and which tool you're using. Now, for example, if we click on the eraser tool, you can see that it gives a hint showing that you can erase soften or smooth entities in the model. And now when I hover over the viewport, the hint again changes where it says select items to erase or drag across multiple items. So it's a very pretty useful dialog box. I generally don't check it out that often because I know SketchUp, but for beginners, it comes in really handy. And finally, on the bottom right, we have our measurements. Now, this is something which you might want to get right from the start is that you don't really need to click here and generally nothing happens even if you click here. Because SketchUp reads whatever value you type directly into the measurement box. You don't really need to click and press enter. Now, for example, I'm drawing a rectangle. You don't have to do the same. I'm going to type in 1 feet, comma 5 feet and enter. I didn't really need to click here. I simply needed to type in my measurements simply 
and then press enter that's all you need to do i will be reiterating this later on the course as well so that it enters your head and you don't make the mistake of clicking the measurement box so you just simply type the value and press enter so that's a brief on the sketchup user interface in the next video i will be showing a brief on the sketchup user interface in mac so for the windows users you, you can skip the video after that which is an introduction to the basic sketchup tools also guys there's no exercise files for this because it's simple right you don't really need something i'm going to make it in the canvas or in the viewport and you can make your own shapes and whatever you like so see you guys in the next video cheers